infinites. Loops. Some people hate them. Most people love them. Most fighting game players cannot deny the fascination behind infinite combos, and the legacy they've been leaving behind for basically the entirety of the genre. Everyone's familiar with Gambit's Marvel 1 Infinite. How the hell do you do that infinite nightmare steak? It is the lamest infinite in Marvel history. Iron Man's Marvel 2 Infinite. You can cancel it out into motherfucking Heavy Punch Ultra, but I ain't gonna do that shit! Ah! Zero's Marvel 3 Lightning Loops. Wow, Marvel sure is a shit show. And more recently, Dan Street Fighter 5 Infinite. Which unfortunately has been patched out in a very clever way. And Athena's King of Fighters 15 Infinite. Yeah, this is hard. I wanna get two hits. Which has apparently been getting closer and closer to being practical in a real match. But we're not talking about those games today. Instead, we'll be talking about my favorite versus game along with one of its more weird characters in the context of the game, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom's Frank West, and his silly infinite. Punish? No. Reverse, <laughs> now, I say infinite like that because, well, it isn't really an infinite. Sometimes, anyway. Much like Iron Man's Marvel 2 Infinite, you can drop out after a certain number of reps. Thanks for looking out, Capcom. But unlike Marvel 2, TVC has a combo breaker mechanic known as Mega Crash, basically a burst for my fellow anime enjoyers. Mega Crash is a bit unique in that it doesn't have a separate meter like it does in most Arxis games. Instead, you have access to it, well, all the time. Provided you have the required resources of two bars of super meter, like Fate Unlimited Codes. Anyway, why am I talking about Frank West's Infinite? Well, because it's brain dead easy and can basically be done anywhere, and at any time. And can even kill if your Baroque level is high enough. But enough talk, let us start the show. Alright, just take it easy, pal. That's it! To do the infinite, it's really quite simple. You start by doing the launcher, which in this game is notated with 3H. And you're basically already done with a third of the loop. Because next, you will want to cancel the launcher into a whiff giant swing command grab, inputted with a half circle back motion with any button. Then, as they fall, delay their landing a bit before continuing with 5M, cancelled into 3H. This can be repeated until you run out of juggle potential, your opponent bursts, or until you conclude it yourself. And congratulations, you're a certified Frank West player in a game that only five people play. 